have some Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jagalia Lost video. My name is D-Free. Here today, I'm just going to have a really quick uh, tips video for you guys, explaining kind of what you would want to be working on. Now, I meant to put this out a couple of days ago, but I was a little bit busy. But that being said, I hope that you guys are still able to have the time or the ability to get some of this done. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. And I wanted to talk about it, but the new raid is coming soon. Kindness and Captivity was announced in-game. So here we go. This is actually a wind raid event. So team up, take on a powerful boss with up to 16 adventurers. And uh, another wind dragon will be right here available. So that's cool. We'll be able to pick up another dragon and uh, we'll go from there. But one of the things that I did want to talk about is we do actually have, since we know that it's a, a win character, right? A win event. We have an avenue to prepare. So we're going to go ahead and go over to quests and I'm going to explain some of what you need to be doing right now. So for starters, avenue to power and our avenue to fortune. I mean, per normal, you should be doing those every day, right? Because you do want to go ahead and just continue to level up your characters, level up your castle, all that stuff. So other than that, be focusing on Yes, you, you understand, you already know, the Fire Ruins and uh, the Fire Attuned Dragons, Weapons, and Adventurers. So, grind the Flame Howl Ruins as much as you can. You do have to kind of, sometimes, if it comes to uh, Mana Circles, you have to come over to the Dragon Trials and do uh, Brunhilde's Trials and, you know, get stuff from there. But other than that, that's pretty much what you would want to do, right? So, again, your focus is on Fire Attuned Weapons, Characters, actually the Altars, too, in the Castle... Things of that nature. Just anything fire. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get out of here. And we're going to go over to the teams. And that's not a good team. Let me go ahead and go over to... Uh, we'll go... Well, actually, we can do it from here. That's fine. So I wanted to show you guys a few things. So when it comes to fire characters, there's actually not a lot in the game right now. But... Another thing that I want to point out is that obviously there's going to be a new banner, right? So if you plan on summoning on the new banner, there will probably be a couple of fire heroes that are probably really good. So be aware of that. Also, if you want to grind extra like crystals or whatever for those characters so you can use them as soon as they come out, that would be a good idea. But at the bare minimum, we all have our base character. Uh, Yudin, I believe is his name, but your, your avatar, right? So other than that, if we scroll down, there is, like I said, only a handful of characters here. In my opinion, if you have access to the I healer, I would recommend using her because it's very nice to always have a healer. Uh, this is Verica. So what she does is very generic. She's just a healer. Like I said, natural four star. So you maybe do, maybe you don't have her. I'm still working on her personally, but she does have a potency up ability as well. And here we go with her regular abilities here too. So she's not bad at all. And again, it's always nice to have at least one healer on your teams as far as that's concerned, right? And then, of course, for the rest of it, you pretty much want to focus on DPS. Now, when it comes down to other four-star units that are here currently, I don't really too much go over the three stars. They could be solid, but I'm not going to spend time going over them. Uh, when it comes to the four stars, Carl is really good. He's a support unit. He actually has a very good utility. And then, of course, there's Vanessa. So Carl is uh, this guy, and then Vanessa is this chick. So Carl, again, I would say is probably better just for the utility and the buffs and things of that nature. But Vanessa can out output a lot of damage. Now, other than that, there actually are a couple of natural five stars. There's uh, Ezalith and Mikoto. So I only have Ezalith right now, so of course I'm going to be using her. Uh, and then there's Mikoto. So Mikoto is really good, though. If you have that unit, make sure you're using it. If you have both, more power to you. But again, it's kind of hard to say because we don't know exactly what will be available, right? So next I wanted to cover something. So when it comes to weapons, right, if you can build an elemental weapon, go for it. Right, so if you can build one, go for it. I still have to work on mine a little bit, but if you can, it's always nice. So go for it. Otherwise, when it comes down to dragons, if you have access to fire attuned dragons, go for it. Another thing is that you guys should have, if you played the previous event, you should have Pele here, or Pella, I don't know how to pronounce it. You should have access to this character, and uh, this should be a dragon that you should be able to use. So I'm gonna still work on my dragons a little bit more, but again, you should at the bare minimum have <laughs> one hero and one dragon so there's that other than that i wanted to go over to the castle and then we'll talk about brunhilda a little bit because uh, she is also the dragon that you should have by playing the story mode so per normal if you didn't know you should always be working on your castle uh but also a little bit more to that work on your castle in the sense of you actually improving the fire altars 
So right here I have one that's currently going. It's level 23. If you check out the info for it, 6% boost to strength and HP. If this event is anything like the previous event, we're not going to get another one of these things um, to build. That'll help us and help us do more damage. If it's anything like the previous raid. If it's like the trick or treasure event, sure. So other than that, we don't know. But of course, always be doing this. Always be working on this. I have another one over here somewhere. There it is. So, of course, these do stack and things of that nature. So, if you can build multiple, go for it. Get them going. So, other than that, the last little thing I wanted to, to uh, cover was Brunhilda and her trials. So, of course, as you guys know, by completing her trials, whether it's co-op or single play, whatever, you are able to get various rewards. So, those rewards are what would allow you to do various things, such as improving your character's mana circles, which, again, for those fire adventurers, make sure you're doing that, too or exchange in her little treasure exchange here so when we come to the treasure trade for the dragon trials <clears throat> excuse me when you play the event you do pick up these little uh metals here these spheres and these can be exchanged for more copies of this character so i have just enough to get four more copies which would then from there allow me to as you guys guessed unbind my dragon so we're going to do that really quick so there's my natural one and we will unbind so of course unbinding allows the level cap to go up and it should increase our skill levels as well there they go the following skills and abilities were upgraded so she's just a little bit better again as a free-to-play option so make sure that you are doing that type of stuff and just improving your dragons working on your dragons working on your team uh, working on your fire heroes and again there could be a new fire dragon there could be a new uh you know couple of worm prints i didn't really cover worm prints because that's very subjective worm prints are very subjective depending on the event that you're taking on so be aware of that but anyways thank you for tuning in hope you all enjoyed leave a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new and i'll catch all of you guys in the next one stay tuned guys